Hello and welcome to this video. This reading is going to be for all my water signs. Wow, that's weird. My candle just went out. Hmm. I have an aquamarine diffusing anger candle. I have two of them and I lit both of them. One of them is, represents the goddess, the divine feminine, and the other one represents the divine masculine, the god energy. And I just went to light my sage and it went out. I just relit it. So some of you may be struggling with anger at this time or you're around someone who is having issues with anger. I'm not even going to light the sage. Um, yeah, so this reading is going to be for all water placements, all right? And this can, this is going to be, you know, Pisces, all placements, Cancer, all placements, Scorpio, all placements, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not for you, it's just simply not for you. Um, I feel like you have support coming in. And it's coming directly from source. I feel like a lot of you may have not felt supported in the recent past or just for a very long time. And I'm hearing it's long overdue. The support is long overdue. Holy Spirit, <clears throat> angelic team, council, please step forward, ancestors, and allow me to reach all water signs, all placements, and provide messages for them. Show me the overall energy. Spirit wants you to um, follow your intuition, to listen to your intuition in regards to the decisions that you are making or need to make. <clears throat> Some of you are praying about this or need to pray about it. Some of you may be laying in a hammock or purchasing a hammock or wanting to purchase a hammock. So, four cards came out for the overall energy. So, since I am reading for all placements, three different signs, there's going to be a lot of energy out. So, I'm going to just read what's here. Your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Wow. Uh, that's going to be the title of the video. That is deep as shit. I resonate with that so much because there's so many people out here. I take my healing so serious. I live, breathe, I live and breathe healing because I don't want the trauma to continue within my lineage. And maybe that's the, the story here. <clears throat> Excuse me, the message here, right? Loving is its own reward, okay? Your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. So you're, some of you don't like to ask for help. You're struggling with that, all right? But you need to look at this opportunity, asking for help, as every, every place that you've ever gotten to, somebody helped you along the way or got you there. You may have been the main person, you know, doing the footwork, but essentially we need other people, okay? That doesn't mean to fully rely on others no but it is okay somebody like you who doesn't like to ask for help you need to ask for help and you do need it is okay to lean on people at times I'm not talking about codependency I'm not talking about lower vibrational lower self type of reliance okay I'm talking about having a balance of if you have an issue asking for help and of course that comes from a place of trauma <clears throat> in order to love or a place of never having help so yet you're like why would I ask for help or why would I think I need help now when I've never gotten it. Some of you also may not have people around, so you don't even feel like you have an option to receive support and help. And I did say support earlier and that it is coming in. Yeah. Yeah. 
right actions are always going to show eventually and then the right help will always come in order to love who you are you can't hate the experiences that shaped you which again has to do with what you've been through what made you who you are <clears throat> Like you can't, this one thing that I'm channeling is like that person that broke your heart, whether it be in love or that parent that wasn't as good of a parent to you as they should have been, as you feel they should have been, right? It's like you wouldn't be who you are today had that person not did or didn't do what they did. You feel me? Like, so try to shift your perspective when it comes to people, places, and things and things that have been done to you so i really like that first one your wound your wound is probably not your fault but your healing is your responsibility you'll never be free of the people who harmed you until you take full responsibility for your own healing no matter what family you were born into what body you got stuck in or what weird shit has happened to you along the way this is your life and no one else's be tender with the parts of you that are hurt and the parts of you that are struggling take ownership of your whole beautiful dented piece together self if you blame someone for who you are you give them ownership of you that shit sucks all right doesn't doesn't it <clears throat> focus on what you can do right now to be your very own badass healer bam so some of you may be looking into the healing arts okay that may be a path that you're you've been interested in for a while now but for whatever reason like you haven't been pursuing it you know because i feel like you haven't made that final decision that decision to where it's like okay this is what i'm gonna do and then for some of you who have made that decision you've kind of been at a standstill because you are trying to heal for some of you you know you are on the healing path and you know that by you healing you can help heal others okay um but you definitely need to do the work a lot of you need to do the work okay i um i have certain courses and even like free workshops that I'm going to start posting about how to properly heal, okay, ways to go about it, shadow work, okay, journaling, writing, working with your chakras, the cut, like you can work with colors, numerology helps too understanding numbers you have to understand source energy you have to understand the source and the divine within you you need to connect with self go dive in deep within the depths of your being because your heart needs it some of you may be having like chest pain all right there's something that needs needs to be forgiven either of yourself or another person um, I feel like that may be what this, this, these decisions could be related to, as well as career, as well as your life in general, okay? Um, one thing that's constant is change, right? Let's, let's say a prayer, all right? Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer all major decisions to you, mother, father, God. Let me trust you are always guiding me in the right directions. May I always remember that if something is meant to be out of no way, Mother, Father, God finds a way. What is meant to be will be. You need to move. I feel like a lot of you suffer from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, um, a lot of stuff in the mind, right? Um, I was listening to Janae Aiko before I got on here, and um, something that she said, you know, most of the time I'm fighting multiple voices residing in my head, okay? Those voices are your team versus your demons, your spiritual team versus the you that is trying to come through, meaning your higher self, because this is your lower self, okay? Trying to merge with your your higher, your lower self is trying to merge, your higher self is trying to merge with your lower self so that you can come into your light body and experience that certain level of consciousness where you are just the frequent you you are just vibing and vibrating on the frequency of love which is bliss which is heaven on earth which is in the mind okay you don't have to die to reach heaven 
But as far as the physical, the 3D realm, um, support is coming, but you have to not be afraid to ask for help, okay? Some of you are very safe and guarded with, you know, your personal, your personal truth, your personal business, which is good to be that way, you know, but sometimes you got to get it out somehow, even if it's, if it's writing, like I said, find a smash room locally, wherever you live and go smash some shit up. You feel me? Scream into a pillow, go somewhere where you can just, I know writing for me, I talk about that a lot, writing, okay? There's something magical about writing, the art of writing, because it's almost like your soul is able to manifest in the physical, and once that, um, once that manifests in the physical, that's when manifestation and your dreams literally start to become one with the universe, okay? And when I say that, I mean in a sense of tangible, you being able to see the fruits, the harvest of what is in your mind and what you have manifested. Like, you can heal through writing, you can manifest through writing, you can... You can do all things within writing and drawing has really helped me. And I know a lot of you who don't draw or don't think you can draw, you're going to be like, oh, I can draw, whatever. But that's not true because you're, you're allowing your mind, your false beliefs, your falsehood of what your mind is saying to tell you that you aren't capable of doing something. You'd be very surprised. I know for me, the goal is for all of us to connect back to our child, our inner child, okay? Because your inner child is extremely wounded to some form of capacity and drawing is a good way to help heal that. And it's also a way for you to get creative. And for my women out there, we've got two of cups at the bottom of the deck, water energy, this may have to do with love or friends or family, connecting with family, having support from family, having support from a loved one, a partner. Make need to make a decision and follow your intuition because source has been giving you messages, okay? Um, what was I saying? I lost it. All right, so if it comes back, then it's meant. But spirit, let's see what's up with the all water placements, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury. Show me what's going on. Too much. But the Seven of Wands was flipped, flipped up. So a lot of people are like, you feel like you want to distance yourself from people and just focus and center on you. You're an empath, okay? And sometimes that's what you need to do. And for my cancers, my cancer placements, if you have a cancer anywhere in your chart, <clears throat> Um, you will tend to go into your shell, okay? So we've got the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is regarding family. Like I said, that inner child. Something may have happened to you as a child where there was like some sort of break-in or an outsider. Hmm. Disturbed your home, disturbed a happy home. Like, uh, for some of you, I'm hearing burglary, robbing, breaking and entering. This may have even been another family member. Yeah, this is like childhood trauma. Um, some of you may have a dog in spirit as well as a father figure in spirit. Lost your father at a young age. Your father may have passed on over a burglary or something like that we've got queen of pentacles yeah this may have been over money over your mother or your grandmother hmm somebody may have even put this on your family i'm hearing i just heard root work this may even be past lives this may even be something that is secret the emperor we've got aries energy yes yeah, so you may have the top of my head is like it feels like like 
I've been getting that a lot, like my guides or one of my ancestors, probably my grandmother's like rubbing my head, but it's like right here. There may be a grandmother who is like comforting you right now at this time. Um, there may have been some type of sacrifice. There may be an older woman that is an Aries, okay? Because I'm getting like dark black magic and like sacrifices sitting back waiting for it to manifest like somebody set somebody up is what I heard somebody was just sitting back praying nonchalant because when you look at these two energies right here these two people right they look very like carefree right yeah this may be from childhood or this may be going on now Take it how it resonates, you feel me? Um, I just heard Wizard of Oz. Hmm. Clarify this Seven of Swords, Spirit. Clarify this Seven of Swords. Clarify this Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like I heard snitching. Clarify this Seven of Swords. Or of pentacles, yeah, like somebody's greedy when it comes to money. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of praying and like ritualistic things being done. Yeah, like see how this person is like holding on to her purse. Like hold on to your money. Hold on to your purse. Watch your things when people come over your house. Strength, Leo. Okay, yeah, we are going into Leo season. Um... The portal, you know, on 8-8 eight, eight is going to be opening up. Maybe that is when, you know, spirit is going to reveal something to you about an Aries. This could be male or female, okay? Yeah, like two-faced is what I'm getting. Needing to have strength with this situation. Clarify this um, Queen of Pentacles, though, spirit. These people both have head wraps, too. So, I feel like they know, they know something five of wands yeah toxicity toxic like i said fighting wanting fights to happen making fights happen out of nowhere like if you have been having like a lot of arguments fighting <clears throat> or you witnessed this growing up is what i just heard yeah maybe your mother had to turn your back on a certain way she had to ha find the strength to walk away from a certain lifestyle for you or she was supposed to walk away and didn't or she did once you know this tragedy happened hmm. clarify the emperor yeah it's like people they they uh, it's like people want to be toxic, but then when they get burned, they, they surpri they're surprised. Like, how the fuck are you surprised? Excuse me, but how are you surprised? The Fool and the Star card, 0, 17, 0 and 1, 7, okay? Some of you might be born on the 17th of a month, <clears throat> an eighth of a month, the seventh of a month, or um, the first of a month, or life path number one, or seven. Okay, um, so great energy. Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith. That was clarifying the emperor. So, this person is very foolish. That's what I'm getting. Like, you're, you're a holy fool, okay? But this person, this energy is like <clears throat> very foolish. And you're getting downloads from, like, the stars, the universe, the cosmos. You are a child of the moon, of the cosmos. You're a child of the sun. You are a child of everything. Yeah, some of you need to go out in nature. Some of you may be sitting in nature when you receive a tremendous download. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Some, okay, trigger warning. Um, there may have been somebody who committed suicide, either in this life or a past life. 
I love one of yours. And it was because of what was going on. It, it all became too heavy. And they were holding something. They took something with them. And I feel like they want you to know what they took with them. Or they hid something somewhere for somebody to find. And it hasn't been found. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Maybe a fortune. There's maybe like a... Um, inheritance money because i did say robbery burglary in the beginning hmm. strength um somebody may have a tattoo on their arm somebody was waiting for somebody to fall asleep is what i just heard um hmm. let me just let me see <clears throat> ten of cups yeah it was a happy home the empress somebody was jealous of the connection of a union mm, excuse me with children you may be as the child or this could be your life but for some of you i get this is your childhood yeah two of swords you were blind to it as a kid you witnessed it but you internalized everything when we're children we just internalize it until we reach like teenage years and then we start to release and and project or let out everything that we've internalized up until that point um i'm definitely getting like anchoring light codes and energy and and messages from the heavens you really need to tap in spiritually if you haven't if that's something that you've been blind to rainbows maybe a significance your chakras need to be in alignment and balance the devil yeah I feel like you you were gaslit as a child. There were things that were kept from you and you didn't know no better because you may have a Capricorn mother or father for some of you or they may have Capricorn highly aspect in your chart or you might. Um, Libra energy, again, air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. <clears throat> Like, some of you don't didn't see this coming, or your mother, your father, a guardian of yours did not see this coming. Yeah, somebody had you on strings, like puppet strings, and I feel like you have somebody in your life, or you may, I heard reading, get a reading, a tarot reading to confirm if this is your energy, or there may be somebody in your life that has been trying to put a bug in your ear, and you're just kind of about a king of pentacles about something involving money wealth abundance that somebody knows something like there's a lot of i'm getting like street energy like like from the streets like this person you know grew up not in poverty but just in in the, in the street life for some of you they chose that way they didn't have to because you know you had what you needed as a child or from the outside looking in it looked like you had everything on the outside but emotionally and mentally there was lacking there there was a lot of strings being like you were just kind of like a puppet being used okay and this could even be a relationship currently that you're in where you built this home, this life, and you're like, now I'm just playing house. Like, you've been trying to weave in and out something beautiful, but like what I'm getting is like the stitches that are behind this. I don't know if you can see. The stitches don't look that good. You feel me? It doesn't look sturdy. Throughout the whole tapestry it does where y'all aren't sitting, but it's like right where y'all are sitting, it's a little... I'm getting some of you might have like a um like a comfort item blanket something like something that you slept with as a child or clung to for comfort there's a lot of pain here but with pain is purpose with pain is let me um use my cards that i just made with pain is purpose and 
you that's why the topic you know your wound is probably not your fault but your healing is responsibility is your responsibility and this could go back years you feel me like even past lives what sign is your Lilith placement research Neptune which house so you need a birth chart reading is what I'm getting from that or you need to do some extensive reading into research and reading into your birth chart because that is going to be the key and I'm going to be talking about that here on my channel that is going to be a very important and beneficial key to you finding out who you are who you were in past lives what took place that you're unsure of and why you are the way that you are that's why i always recommend to my clients get a past life reading get a birth chart reading you feel me general readings are good too um <clears throat> but i definitely feel like <clears throat> you're in like a dark night of the soul or just a spiritual journey in general and i feel like other people i'm hearing other people didn't expect you to get to where you're trying to go and there's forces against you but you're protected from them but it's just it's let's see what is this devil energy spirit show us what this devil energy is show us what this devil energy is spirit please Too much but it does say the next time you pass by a cemetery pray that the souls there are at peace and be released from any bondage so this may be the may be this may be somebody trying to get in touch with you from the spirit realm and i did say something about that earlier and i do do past on loved one readings like i said i heard tarot i heard get confirmation if this is your reading um but These person's eyes are very alluring too. Somebody may have a tattoo on their chest, their right arm, like it wraps around their arm. Can we clarify this devil energy though? Seven months from now is on the bottom, but we'll see. I heard like they, your your guys, your ancestors, your spiritual team does not want you bonded anymore. Like. They don't want you deceiving yourself anymore. A lot of times we like to blame others. Oh, they're a narcissist. They're this, they're that. But what did you allow, though? What have you allowed? And I do do, you know, work on breaking cords, all of that protection work, because I don't know. I'm just clarified as devil energy. Thank you. I bent the card up. In exactly a year from today. Okay. Hydrate H2 water. H2O water. Clarify, spirit. Okay, if you won't clarify with this, let's clarify with these. Clarify this devil energy. Hold on, let me take this out of there. In exactly a year from today, clarify. Damn. The sun. Pin. There may be some voodoo going on. This this is like a pin being pushed and pin put push pin happiness and well being. Somebody may be trying to affect that. And then it says new job or career. Somebody may be trying to stop your wealth, your career, your job, your business. Seahorse family matters. Yeah, this may have to do with family. And didn't I say that earlier? I did say that. I did say that. Okay, what else? Um, in exactly a year from now, what? So, time to get out of a situation, pale. Yeah, in exactly a year from now, they're saying, like, in a year from now, you're not going to be in the situation that you're in right now. Like, spirit is like, nah, that's, that's not happening. <laughs> In exactly a year from today. Rose. Romance is in the air. Somebody may have done a love spell. Or if you're out here doing love spells, Spirit wants you to know. 
you need to get out of this situation or if some if there was a love spell done on you and you're unsure about it i do do love readings as well as like i said cutting cords cutting ties of course get clarification that this is your specific reading it is a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest because it's on king of pentacles too so somebody's spending a lot of money trying to play with you hmm wolves may be of significance this person may have a pet and when i said pet i do, i, I kind of feel like it's a pet but they also have pets like workers like people who do their dirty work like other vessels that is some sick shit this may be your baby father or this may be your mother's so i keep getting like mother bear danger especially in money matters i just said that in regards to money mm, and i said hold on to your bag hold, clutching your purse mm, let's see show me some more spirit please show me some more cousin okay so we've got cousin or cousins i just heard coven doing work or trying to get in between you and your cousin for my singles the next person you swipe right for or meet up with do not have sex or accept a pre-made drink from Hmm. or this could be a cousin like don't accept a drink from your cousin within the next two weeks at the bottom of the deck hmm. the next person or current person you are talking to has an std or sti hpv it shows up dormant in men Somebody, I just heard somebody may have had sex with their cousin. Oh. 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 So if you're wondering. Oh. North Node. Fate, destiny, learned from the past. So yes, this is what I was talking about. About learning your birth chart. Learning from the past. Not to mess with this current person or the next person. And I did say do not have sex with the next person or accept a pre-made drink. This may be at a get-together at your cousin's house. In three days, watch out for... Let's see. We got siblings. What do they need to watch out for? Actually, I'm going to clear it out with these again. What do they need to watch out for in three days? carriage a journey either physical or mental yeah like i said like some type of get together clarify though more please spirit on what they need to watch out for exactly i mean we already got watch out for oh okay yeah this is continuing this the next person you swipe right or left for um because it's yellow and had dot 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 and i placed them like this and they're both yellow but a card did fall out, so I would get that. Hmm, two of Swords. Don't be blind or naive. You need to be connecting with self, not out here. I just heard open your mind before you open your legs. Cup. Yo, I just said don't accept a drink from somebody, right? Or you, I'm hearing you did accept a drink. Somebody drugged you already. They love with a love spell oh my god come on spirit 
you should accept valid criticism. Yes, yeah, some of you, and this is cups, right? Water energy. CC, some of you may have the name that begins with the C. Or this may be somebody you talk to or know with the name C. Cousin, okay? Um... Yeah, like, I feel like some of you need to really, like, you don't like, you want to be able to share stuff with people, but you don't like the criticism or advice that you're getting back. We've got gong and exciting event. Didn't I just, yeah, this, this is something that's going to be coming up. <laughs> for sure, for sure, I, I feel that. Okay, so what else about this devil energy and five of wands is past, I feel like family matters right so from childhood family affairs we've got a ram and aries already came out aries came out earlier already stubborn aggressive person yeah money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it didn't i say something is being concealed like as far as money yeah because I feel like maybe Aries is trying to block that or Aries or Aquarius or a um, earth sign, angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Beautiful. And some of you are going to be getting this protection from me or I see you hitting me up because this girl has a candle in her hand. Like I, I love candle magic. Like I love candle magic. Forest muddled unclear thinking like i said that goes back to the cup energy you feel me it's like your your feelings your thinking is muddled it's foggy it's and you're wondering why like i heard somebody spiked your drink whale great worry yeah it's causing you paranoia you feel me you've got great worry over everything is what this car says literally and whale that's your energy water peacock beware of great pride okay some of you may have had this spirit animal for a while okay look into the peacock spirit animal and whale okay you have two animals back to back so you may have had a death of a pet that has passed over that is like trying to get your attention let you know they're with you around you a fucking dog just barked, yo. I hope y'all heard that. I really hope that y'all heard that damn dog bark. And I said dog earlier in the beginning. Involvement with the law. Hmm. I did say that too. 